We study uh, green microalgae called Botrychocus bronii. And um, the interesting thing about this algae is that it produces large amounts of liquid hydrocarbons. And these liquid hydrocarbons can be used um, um, to make fuels. So you can convert them into fuels such as gasoline, kerosene, and diesel fuel. And the other interesting thing is that these liquid hydrocarbons made by this algae are currently found in petroleum deposits. So we are currently already using them as a source um, to generate fuel. So our research focuses on trying to understand how this algae makes these liquid hydrocarbons, um, what are the genes and pathways involved in making those liquid hydrocarbons, so that maybe when we identify these genes, um, we can manipulate them to maybe have the algae make more oil, or maybe we can make other organisms make the oil. Maybe we can transfer these genes into a land plant like a tobacco, or maybe other algae that grow very quickly. Because one of the issues with our algae is this algae that we study, Botrychocus, is that it grows very slow. Um, it takes, you know, a, about a week for one cell to double into two cells and you just don't get a lot of biomass and so on a economic scale it's not good to use the algae to, you won't get enough oil produced and so we undertook a project to try and determine what are the genes in this algae that make this oil what are the genes responsible for them producing this oil and we discovered a very interesting gene from this um, algae that's called Lycopa octaene synthase, or we just call it LOS. And this LOS gene is able to initiate the production of the oil. And so we, we started to essentially pick apart this pathway. What is the initial starting point of this pathway? What is the enzyme? How does it function? And the interesting thing about the enzyme is that it, we've found that it has um, pretty promiscuous substrate specificity. And by that I mean it's able to use several different substrates to make several different products. And that's um, some, it, it's found fairly often throughout nature, but for this type of hydrocarbon, it is fairly unique. And for this type of enzyme, it was fairly unique. Um, and so we were able to characterize that this algae uh, this enzyme from this algae is able to make a, a several different hydrocarbon-like products, and it's fairly unique.